Hello everybody, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising, this is episode 14, where the government cleanup is about to commence. Unfortunately, last time we saw the death of Jesse, but we also saw the death of Carlito. So they look a whole lot like uh, Hunk and the other Umbrella Special Forces, minus not having the red lenses. And uh, as you might expect, they're not too friendly to us because, you know, we're a witness now and we haven't been detained, so uh, they'll fire on sight. I mean, the way Frank looks right now, I'm sure quite a few people would fire on sight, but uh, yeah. So there are government troops mixed in, but there are still plenty of zombies left. So you can see, we still don't have any uh, missions or anything right now because, well, we finished all of them. But Isabella is still hanging around. She's pretty much the only uh, other living person that isn't trying to kill us here. So let's go kind of check out these special forces. So they're actually pretty tough. I mean, you know, they're not as tough as a uh, psychopath or anything, but they're a bit tougher than the cultists. And you can see you get a lot of PvE killing them. And I believe there is a achievement for killing ten of these guys. You can see they dropped the machine guns that those survivors had. And, uh, you know, these aren't too terrible. They're not great against other special forces, though. In fact, one of the most effective ways to kill special forces is using Frank's uh, various wrestling moves, which will usually kill them in one hit. Though, any of the good melee weapons will also kill them pretty quick. Now, while there are still zombies hanging around, as you can see, their numbers will start to thin out as time passes, as the uh, you know special forces succeed in clearing them out. Oh, this glass is pretty tough. At least with them, it does make sense that your guns don't do very much to them, because they are presumably wearing, you know, Kevlar of some variety. And now, instead of uh, the convicts hanging out out here, you can hear that there is a Special Forces helicopter around, which uh, will try to kill us once it sights us. And we can actually shoot down the helicopter. It's kind of tough to do. Uh, it's kind of tough to hit, though. It's a lot easier on uh, the c PC than it was on the console. But basically, he'll do strafing runs and then occasionally start firing rockets at you. And the best way to fight him is a combination of machine gun and sniper rifle. You can either just kind of dump machine gun on him, like especially the tail rotor is one of the weak spots, or, alternatively, you can just shoot the pilot uh, window repeatedly with a sniper rifle until it goes down. Easiest way to fight him is to stand up on top of this thing, but we won't do that just yet, because uh, I don't have the appropriate equipment for this. 
And as you might expect, there's also an achievement for shooting down the helicopter. So let's see, it is about 1 a.m. So we've only got 11 hours to go until our helicopter arrives. Which you think might be kind of uh, a difficult for him to get in here now that there is a helicopter circling around, but that didn't stop him the first time. Should really get rid of this gun now. Never got a chance to give it to that one survivor. Cheryl, I think? You can see, just picking him up and throwing him kills him. I really want to get the gut rip move because it's pretty funny to do that to special forces, but we still haven't got that yet. We don't have too much use for the shotgun anymore since it's no good against the helicopter, it's no good against the uh, special forces. And we don't really need it, because there's no more psychopaths. I don't know why there's just a random pork pie in this uh, vent box. Let's go see what Isabella's up to. So yeah, we're pretty much just supposed to kind of hang out until the uh, military's done with the zombies. Alright, let's make another slot. Oh no, I can't make another slot, I forgot. So let's just save over this really old save. And I guess since we don't really have anything else to do right now, we could probably take down that helicopter. If Isabella needs us for anything, she can just give us a call. I was hoping the zombies would shield me there. You can see they don't even really flinch when you shoot them. Also, their heads are helmeted, which is apparently enough to stop all bullets. No, don't need that. Just need to grab this and this. But yeah, it's considerably easier to shoot down that helicopter with a mouse than it was on the console because you kind of have to be a bit precise. Just leave that guy to the zombies.
Okay, we had some guns, we got some health. I think we should be able to take it down pretty quick. The reason for standing on that roof is not only can you, you know, completely ignore the zombies, but you can also use the roof as pretty effective cover whenever he shoots missiles by just walking to the opposite side. Oh, here they come. You can see even though I rolled there and was kind of invincible, I still got hit by the missiles because they have kind of a linger effect. Nope, don't want to do that. Easiest way to shoot him is wait for him to come straight at you, but this tree is kind of in the way. <laughs> less damage from that than I would have from the missile. If I hadn't rolled right into a zombie, that would have worked fine. Oop, I, <laughs> I hit right mouse in the middle of that by accident. The, uh, with the machine gun, you kind of have to lead your shots because he's pretty far away. I hope he's almost done, because I've only got this one sniper rifle left. And if you leave the area, all the health comes back. It is kind of hard to tell if you're hitting him because there's no, like, you know, bullets sparking off of it. Well, I'm out of ammo and the helicopter is still going. So much for that idea. get the helicopter achievement for shooting it down and some costume piece. I think it's like a pilot's helmet or something. Frank is victorious. So you can see there are quite a few of them and not so many zombies now.
There's also another big group up here by the health. Just waiting to ambush you when you come to heal. I'm not sure if they're saying wait to Frank or to each other. Dead from that too, just like Jesse. So this part of the game really isn't too exciting. We basically are just killing time at this point. Which, after the uh, the high tension of you know trying to get all these missions in time, seems almost kind of uh, lifeless. Let's see if we can find some new clothes here. I don't think I really looked around. Uh... Oh, Frank's doing a little bit of a float here. I don't think I really looked around too much here in Entrance Plaza. It's also kind of foggy. Wow, must be a pretty uh, expensive store if each pair of jeans has its own shelf. Alright. I feel like we've worn a variation of this at some point. Oop, didn't mean to throw my katana. Alright. Yeah, I think these are all the same. There sure are a lot of shoes in this game, considering you can barely see them. Good old baseball bat. Of course, the baseball bat's not as handy in this game as it is in the second one, since the nail bat is one of the first combo weapons you get and continues to be one of the most useful throughout the game. All right. Have we done Sporty Frank yet? With his off-brand Under Armour. You know, I think Frank's really got the drive to be good at golf. I assume it's supposed to be a golf ball you're shooting at them, but it looks like just a really small rock. Nope, oh, Tommy foot got in the way. Tops. Oh, this is just another dress, isn't it? Oh, we've already got enough of those. The distinguished gentleman. Close to what Frank starts with. A little fancier, but uh I don't think 
we ever really checked out this area, which is right where the game starts. Since you can't really go in the stores at the start there. Got another sports store. Pickaxe. Have we used a pickaxe? I think we did once. Oh, also bike. You can see the bike is not very fast and you can't make Frank go any faster. Oh, hey guys. Don't mind me. There's also another bike in Alfresca Plaza. You think you'd be able to like click the pedal faster or something, but no. This is as fast as Frank can go. Oh no. Excuse me. I'd like to check the time, but you can't pull up your watch when you're on a bike. Oh, they caught up to me already. Okay, it's about four, so we're, we're making good time. Also got a PP bonus if you spin these racks. I guess I could have been more efficient and used this time to level up by killing these special forces guys and running over zombies in the uh, maintenance tunnels. Oh, come on. Really gotta learn to pick your battles, guys. If I'm being frank with you. Sadly, you also can't use the bow until the second game. Oh, lady. Trying to charge up the spin attack. Oh, I didn't even need that. Silly me. All right. I guess I could uh, give that helicopter another go. There really isn't much else to do. This this kind of exemplifies, I think, why Dead Rising does not need to remove the time limit because there's not enough to keep you busy without the time limit. They've got pretty good protection against battle axes. There you can see the front parking lot, which is not uh, modeled super well. Apparently there is actually a decent number of hidden references in the town during the, like, flyover. Like, references that are not just, you know, hey, if you notice them. I mean, they're actually not in the part of the map that you can see during that flyover, so people have only found them by pretty much, you know, no clipping around in the PC version. Apple. Tricycle. 
Apple. Tricycle. Uh, do we have a battery thing here? HDTV. I guess we don't have cameras here at this electronic store. Do you hear that? That's the sound of the shoehorn. It goes brrrr. Sorry, I was just trying to find a way to shoehorn that joke in somehow. Not a very exciting episode, I'm afraid to admit. There's just really not much to do. You know, like, I can continue walking around looking at these stores, but... For the most part, we're just kind of, uh... Again, still waiting. Right now we're pretty much just waiting for sun up. Oh no. Oh, that's a lot of guns pointing at me. And you might notice that uh, getting shot does not give you any sort of invincibility period before the other shots will damage you. So if they're all unloading on you at the same time, you will lose health while you're locked in the stunned animation. Which kind of sucks. Now, it isn't just a simple game over if you get uh, shot to death. Something actually does happen, but uh, still trying to avoid that anyway. Gotta heal before these guys are done with the zombies. It's pretty hard to get a suplex on one of these guys. Oh, there's so many of them. Running out of zombies to protect me. Okay, this time I've got six guns, so hopefully that is enough. Um, I don't know why I rolled there. I wasn't actually holding a direction or anything. Oh, wow, that was quick. Maybe they do retain damage. But yeah, you can see we don't actually really shoot him down. He just kind of flies off. Fantastic. Oh, 
The leg sweep is another one of those moves that I never use because it's super contextual. You basically just have to click when Frank lands from a jump. And sometimes he'll do the spinning kick instead. So I'm not exactly sure what causes it. You might actually have to push back and down. But you'd think that would be useful against, like, psychopaths because you could trip them or something, but they just ignore it completely. The perfect soldier. Wait a couple minutes here for the six hour mark. The bottom of these shoes just look like they're soaked in blood, but I'm pretty sure that's just the color. It's back here. I think this just leads back into the mall. This just leads to one of the unfinished stores. Nope, nothing over here. See, even that spinning kick killed him. They're just like super weak against the bodily contact. Six hour mark. Let's see if Isabella has anything new to say. That's not where she is. Can't even look at Carlito's computer. Which I guess she stopped paying attention to. Alright, so let's just save it here, and I think we'll finish off the uh, the last couple hours in the final episode. The final episode? I mean, it should be, right? We're just getting our helicopter pickup and escaping. Maybe with Isabella, maybe without her. Who knows? Until then, I've been Shadefire, and uh, I can guarantee the next episode will be more interesting. I could have probably cut this one out almost entirely and just pasted the little bits on the end of the next one, but that wouldn't be the Dead Rising experience. Alright folks, take care.